What's up guys, it's the Dark here. I got a gameplay here for you on Plaza. And um I don't know count how many stealth choppers I get in this game. I I actually do not know how many stealth choppers I got in this game. But um if you haven't noticed possibly by the title, I may not title it this, but I get a nuclear fail. I get third or I'm sorry, twenty nine kills and end up dying on the uh what would be the 30th kill so then i can go nuclear and it would have been my first nuclear gameplay because i don't really go for these i don't really try but it's just one of those things to where um it kind of happens so um i've been using the peacekeeper smg a lot this gun i personally think is super duper op um it's it's not op because of it's it's ridiculous range and it's not OP because the damage is actually quite low but it's OP because if you use it correctly nobody can really kill you it's 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 really hard for people to actually um, get around corners stuff like that and take you out because um, it just it's it's a mix between a submachine gun and an assault rifle I feel like this is a gun that I've really wanted to be around that uh, hasn't been around and uh, it's just the only reason it's OP is because it has the range of an assault rifle but it's an SMG but it has the damage of a submachine gun and has the movement of a submachine gun um, and the fire rate is pretty low too but its recoil is so low I mean the recoil on it is to a point to where it's uh, it's almost not noticeable like in a gameplay it's not really noticeable and um, I mean it's noticeable when you're actually playing but it's not really noticeable when um, when you're when you're watching it like if me watching this commentary I don't really notice um, too much of the recoil or anything like that and I totally fail right there the guy was right there I didn't see him but um if you guys are wondering what I'm running, I'm running Ghost Hardline. Um, oh gosh, I'm skipping here. Ghost Hardline, Tack Mask, and Toughness. Toughness just because I hate the bouncing when you um. Excuse me, I hate the bouncing when you get shot. It's just ridiculous how much you bounce in this game compared to other Call of Duties. But um, overall, um, I really enjoyed. I really enjoy the Peacekeeper since I just got it, since I'm on PS3, stuff like that. Um, so, and I haven't really played any of the new maps, to be honest. Uh, I just go on Domination, because playing on the new maps, I, I, I don't know. I don't like them right now. I like the SMG, I really do. But I do, it, the new maps right now, I don't, I don't particularly care for them. I'm still I'm having fun with the old maps. Um... But I think this gun could potentially be um, OP. It's not at all because they balanced it with the... I, I just think it's a gun that in the right hands, it's extremely powerful. And in the wrong hands, it's uh, it's probably the worst SMG in the game. But as you can see, like I can pick off people from extreme distances, things like that. And um, also, if you're running, wondering what attachments I'm running, I'm running Silencer, Fast Mag, and... Um, gotta think here I think quick draw but it ends up working out pretty well and um, obviously you can tell by the gameplay and the score at the end I believe I go 50 plus and pick up a DSR here which actually ends up really helping me out but um I noticed that every gameplay I get where I pick up a gun I seem to do a lot better uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it's just because I've been using the peacekeeper and then my ammo gets low and I have to use um, and I have to use it or or what it is like I don't know but uh, let's let's talk a bit how I prepare for how I do or go along with my gunfights and how I um, what I do like there like if you notice I got a hit marker on him and it was one of those things to where I couldn't switch to my weapon and stuff like that so I decided to leave and possibly take the DSR out again right here and get that little quick scope there little cheeky one but um essentially it's, it's controlling a situation in which you 
um, what you're placed in, like what kind of cover do you have, um, what can you do if you don't have cover, and that guy just walks right in front of me there, but like if you don't have cover, what you should do, like can you jump, can you go prone, can you crouch, can you crouch and stand up a whole bunch of times so then it's harder for them and stuff like that. Um, like what what can you do to make the gunfight extremely unfair what can you do to make it so that no matter what you do um you end up winning you end up taking them out and uh getting past whatever barrier they put up like a sentry gun etc etc anything that you do to make the fight unfair like you know head glitching in this game is kind of bogus because um i guess i don't know what's his name hastro or no, I think Hastro uh, helped to design some of the maps in terms of because of MLG stuff like that. So there's plenty and plenty and plenty of head head glitch spots in the at least in the um, the stock maps and stuff like that. So it's one of those things to where uh, it's you you gotta know where your cover is, gotta know what cover you kind of have. Like here, if you notice, I'm gonna stick behind this. I know I don't have cover. Like if he shoots through that, the bullet damage is going to be, is going to be unaffected. But I know that if I stand there, I'm still smaller target. It's it's harder for me to see. They don't really know that I'm there because maybe all they can see is my head or my upper body. So it's one of those things to where um you just gotta prepare yourself for any situation and things like that. And that's how you can get really close or get nuclear gameplays, things like that. And um I always shoot out those windows. By the way, I hate knifing them. I feel like knifing them takes too long. But um, if you prepare yourself, like shoot out that window, and I think I shoot these ones out too at some point. It's just one of those things to where it's it's one less distraction, it's one less thing you have to you have to really care about, one less thing you have to take care of. And um, I wasn't trying to be particularly too safe here. I was trying to defend B so then we would win. But it was one of those things to where like I'm not gonna rush into B if I know that I have teammates coming. Like, uh, I understand that they're taking B, and I understand I was taking bullets here, but then I kind of wait a little bit, let my health regain, and then, um, kind of hide a bit, because, you know, I need to call my stealth chopper, stuff like that, but it's better to run away from a gunfight that you're not gonna, you know that you're not going to win, rather than to try and win a gunfight that you are pretty sure that you're going to lose like you know there's rare cases where um i might jump or i might go prone or things like that where i'll win a gunfight where i i kind of wasn't supposed to like right there like i probably wasn't really supposed to win that gunfight but maybe one of my teammates got some shots on him or something like that but um in all intense purposes like if you can make your gunfights as unfair as possible you're gonna win and you're gonna be able to get I don't know, I think I get like three stealth choppers out. I, I don't even know, and like picking up other guns is also a really good idea. Um, just because, you know, if you notice I have 22 bullets left in my peacekeeper, so it's one of those things where it's, uh, what am I gonna do in order to keep this going? And to be honest, if I would've had more peacekeeper ammo, I probably would've gotten the nuclear because uh, I believe I try to get the kill with the target finder with the target finder tar and it just doesn't end up working out whatsoever so it's one of those things like right there i got kind of lucky and i pick up the scorpion evo and i actually do a little bit of work with the evo but um it's it's one of those things to where you got to figure out what what first what kind of map it is how to navigate the map and um how to get the maximum amount of, amount of cover with the least amount of chance of getting killed and you know these enemies were yeah, they were kind of stupid. They weren't the smartest. On top of that, I had ghosts, so whenever they got a UAV, they couldn't see me. Because I'm, I'm generally moving all the time. And this shot here, I was definitely not expecting to get that. But as you can see, I have, I think that's brutal. So I'm, what, five off from it? And I get four more kills and get I die on the last one. It pissed me off so much. I forget if it was a bouncing Betty or what it was. But... Essentially, if you're able to control the situation, make sure that um, every gunfight's unfair. Everything that you do makes them not be able to shoot you or not be able to do things. Like, I use stock on almost every single one of my weapons on the basis of that you get to sidestep faster. And sidestepping faster, a lot of people play on default sensitivity. And it's not very easy to track people on default sensitivity. 
um, if they're sidestepping that like that, which actually you move at 103% speed when you sidestep um, with stock. So it's actually you get to positions 3% faster if you um, 3% faster if you like right there. Oh my gosh, one more kill and I would have had like if I would have just turned around and just quick sprayed him, I would have had the uh, nuclear there. But um, so essentially it's 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 one of those things to where you set up the situation to win you navigate the map the way you want to you make sure that you have all your corners and everything covered like there i didn't i wasn't quite checking there was considerably a lot of enemies there but um i definitely should have done something different about that but hopefully you guys like the gameplay um peace out guys this is the dark and hopefully you like some of the tips on one how to use the peacekeeper and how to stay alive, how to raise your KD, whatever you want to take from this. But um, I'll definitely see you guys later. Peace out. Get mad and not all of them wishing. You could have done it like I done it, bitch. I run it. Yeah, you know I do it like it ain't never been done. Hit the Vegas strip and blow a million euro just for fun. To be honest, I may have embellished that last line. Tell her with a shorty that is so much more than fine.